Is this the end of the world? A question that might have crossed your mind, especially with the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict. Many Bible teachers have suggested that this war is the end of the world. However, from a conservative theological viewpoint, particularly from a Christian eschatological perspective, there are 20 points to consider that suggest this conflict is not indicative of the end of the world. Firstly, biblical prophecy. Many conservative theologians argue that contemporary events must be cautiously interpreted in the light of biblical prophecy. The Israel-Hamas conflict alone does not fulfill the comprehensive signs of the end times as described in scripture. Secondly, history is replete with conflicts that seemed apocalyptic at the time, but were not the end of the world, as history continued beyond them. Thirdly, conservative theology often warns against setting dates or seeing every conflict as a sign of the end. The words, about that day or hour no one knows, ring true here. Fourthly, some theologians hold that the full restoration of Israel, including spiritual revival, is a key end-time event which is not yet fulfilled. Number five, the Bible speaks of a period of global peace before the end, which has not been achieved. The sixth point to consider is the emergence of a global leader known as the Antichrist, which has not happened. Seventh, there's the belief in a rapture event where believers are taken up before the tribulation, which has not occurred. Eighth, Revelation speaks of two witnesses prophesying before the end, which has not happened yet. Ninth, the mandate that the gospel will be preached to all nations as a precursor to the end is ongoing. The tenth point is the expected Great Tribulation, a period of unprecedented global turmoil. Eleventh, some interpretations suggest that a third temple will be built in Jerusalem in the end times, which also hasn't happened. Twelfth, the prophesied battle of Armageddon involves all nations, far beyond the scope of the Israel-Hamas conflict. Thirteenth, an increase in false prophets expected to deceive many, which is not uniquely identifiable with the current conflict. Fourteenth, a significant increase in natural disasters is described as part of the end times, which should be more global in scale. Fifteenth, a general moral decay is also prophesied, which would be more pervasive than regional conflict. Sixteenth, some eschatological interpretations expect a one world government to form before the end times, which is not currently in place. The seventeenth point is the implementation of the mark of the beast for buying and selling, a specific end time event not associated with this conflict. 18th, an intensification of Christian persecution is expected globally beyond regional hostilities. 19th, conservative theology emphasizes that the true battle is spiritual rather than merely physical or political. And lastly, the end is marked by divine intervention, which is distinct from human conflicts. In summary, while the Israel Hamas conflict is a serious and tragic situation, Within a conservative theological framework, it is viewed as one of many global events and not a definitive sign of the end of the world.